feel like they wanted to adopt me, but like I would do it for my siblings and be like, all right, well, if you really want to adopt me, like I, I'm probably going to stay more because of my siblings than you guys. So yeah, it could go a lot of different ways. <laughs> You've had great rebuttals to everything. All my questions. <laughs> yeah, no, like I mentioned, like it's, it, it really does like have a strong connection with me because I, I feel like, I mean, apart the adoption part, but it just feels like um, a movie with, with me and my brothers because we also tried do, uh, reunification with our mother and she was doing all the steps as well. And with her being an addict as well, like there was times where, you know, she, she stumbled back down and I had to kind of pick up the pieces. And so I kind of see from Lizzie's perspective of her, you know, brothers and wanting to go back to their mom like that. That was my goal, too. Like, even though I knew my mom was not ready, I just wanted to be with her. I just wanted to be reunited with her. And I can see that in Lizzie as well, because she's like, I'm going to be back with my mom. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. She says, like, oh, it's small, but but, you know, it, it works, your honor. And and. She, you know you you realize that she just really just wants to be back with her mom and and that's what I wanted when I was younger like I just really wanted to go back with my mom and there was times when we would go to visits and my mom wouldn't show up and so I would be there and I would go back home because there was times where I stayed with my mom while I was living with my grandmother after after I got emancipated I, I lived with my grandmother and I would visit my mom and stay with her at times and I would mostly try to stay with her on visit nights so that I could be there and be like, hey, we got to go to the visit, like with my brothers. And there was times where she would just be passed out. And at first, like, you know, as a young kid, you don't want to believe that it's because your mom's, you know, all drugged up. But there was times where, you know, she just was asleep all day. And it's like, well, it's not because she's sleeping, you know what I mean? And so I would have to go by myself to these visits. And, and yeah, like it was just, it, it was just a roller coaster seeing this movie and then kind of remembering those memories and yeah it was it was wild but I really enjoyed this movie and like I mentioned I really hope other people you know want to see it and and check it out and then I just you know to not drag this much longer because I know it's almost time but um at the end of the movie they do have that uh website to go on and it kind of says like you know for more information and to learn more about foster or how you can adopt or help kids in foster care they have that um, instantfamily.org website so if anybody wants to check it out you know go ahead and and visit instantfamily.org <laughs> definitely well if we're if we're going to wrap up do you want to uh, talk a little bit about your podcast and do a little plug for it at this time? Then? Yes. All right. Definitely. So, uh, again, my name is Laura. Laura Corona, like this virus and the beer. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I have a podcast that I actually, it's been about a year. And the 28th of March was one year officially from the birthing of Fostering Growth. And um, I made this podcast to kind of, you know, share my experiences and my brother's experiences as well in foster care um, to kind of bring, you know, light of these situations and and the different uh, situations that other kids have gone. So, like, I always, you know, uh, like if anybody wants to share their experience um, obviously you know it could be anonymous and all that but I just want to be able to reach a, a good audience of like you know foster kids that you're not alone that you might be in a situation right now where you know it feels like nothing's going to become of your life or how are you going to continue with life and you know just to let them know like we've been there I've been there you know my brothers have been there other people have been there and even if you're not a foster kid like you don't have to be a foster kid to be in those situations you know to feel anxiety or depression of the world around you or just feeling like you're not good enough or you know trying to find that motivation in life so the podcast kind of revolves around all of those different things you know um, so, uh, 
you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, um, Amazon Music, I believe as well. Even on YouTube, we just started uh, doing <laughs> Zoom videos on YouTube, and it's been somewhat new to me because I, I, I'm a very like. Like, I talk a lot with my hands, and I, you know, move a lot when I'm talking, so it's a new experience for me to be on Zoom and people actually seeing me, but but it's 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 interesting to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can find us uh, anywhere that you listen to podcasts as Fostering Growth Podcast, um, and on Instagram, our handle is at fostering.growth.pod. Um, we also have Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Twitter is at foster underscore growth with two H's. And on Facebook, you can find us as Fostering Growth Pod as well. Um, and yeah, if you have any interest or would like to write to us, we also have a Gmail at uh, fostering.growth.pod at gmail.com. Um, if you'd like to share or any, you know, experiences or just give us a write, you know, um, we appreciate all the feedback that we get. I have a couple people like DMing me and saying like, hey, this last episode that you dropped really helped me. Um, I, you know, really needed to hear this. So I'm really glad that I'm able to, you know, spread that awareness and support uh, to my friends and even, you know, strangers and and all these uh i think we've reached about seven countries um including like india and australia so we we're we're you know getting bigger and bigger and i just want to thank everyone you know that has supported and as well as you you know for giving us a shout out and letting us shout out um, on your podcast as well so thanks for that um but yeah that's that's kind of you know the gist of it if you'd like to listen to more go ahead and check us out and yeah glad to be on the show and definitely would like to be back on the show again awesome yeah i can't wait to have you on or or be a guest on fostering growth as well which will be coming up soon hopefully right yes um like i mentioned um hopefully by the end of april we can kind of set up a date and then go from there cool uh, I will be ready. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Wes, really. <laughs> of course, of course. No problem. Thank you for making time for the show. We're coming up on our five year anniversary of doing the show consist- wow. consistently. Yeah. <laughs> wow, five years. Dang. That's crazy, but that's great. Yeah, releasing new content every single week for about five years now. So, very wow. proud. <laughs> Yeah, you should be. I mean, like I like I mentioned before, it's hard work, and it's 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 a really uh, how do you say like um, pro what do you say like proactive thing. Like you know, movies come out all the time as well, so the movies are endless to review, no matter if they're good or bad. <laughs> yeah, from all you know, different eras, whether it be contemporary <laughs> or you know from the past, um, so so much to cover all the time so yeah i guess i'll never retire (laughs) here's to 80 years just kidding (laughs) i hope so for as long as i'm my heart's ticking i guess (laughs) you never know it could be a family business and your children i'm I'm gonna get my son to be like all right fostering growth has a new host (laughs) i pass on the torch (laughs) (laughs) the fostering growth junior podcast (laughs) And it's funny because I'm actually trying to get to do an episode because now that he's seven, he he talks a lot more than before. And sometimes it's like crazy things because, I mean, you never really realize what growing a human being is because it's like, yeah, I have kids, but it's like you're growing a human being like they their personality, their consciousness, the things that they think about and say like it's crazy to have a kid at times you're just like oh my god what am i creating (laughs) but i I really hope to have him on the podcast like a little episode where you know i get to talk to him a little bit and he's he's really expressive like i'll give you that much and i don't know if it's because like we i there's nobody else to talk to than him when i'm at home so i just talk to him at times and he kind of gets that from me but 
yeah, it's 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 it'll be really interesting to have a little junior episode. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to hear that. Do that. Definitely make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are so right. interesting. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they they really, really are. Like yeah, you see their tantrums at the stores, but like that's just one side. Like when they actually get talking and like telling you like things that they think about, you're like what <laughs> like you probably had the same thoughts but now that we're adults we're just so distracted you know with social media and like all these different things happening and you don't really get to see the world through kids eyes again until you have a kid or i mean not even just having a kid but like being around kids it's like a fresh input in life if, if i can say that you know it kind of makes you think about like wow i'm worried about this when my kid's just living life over here and i should be more like my kid <laughs> But alrighty, Lynn. Um, nice to to talk to you again, and, and hope to do this soon. Yeah, definitely. Um, take care as usual. Uh, I guess we'll say until the next time. Good fight and good night. <laughs> All right, you too. Take care and thanks for having me again. No problem. Thank you. Lizzie's mom is a product of the system, and she never learned to properly care for herself, much less three kids. Three? Oh. Three kids? What? Yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Lizzie, <laughs> At once? <laughs> yeah, Lizzie comes with two younger siblings, Juan and Lita. Wait, what? wait, so we would have three children? Oh, two maybe, but there's no way we can do three. I mean, that was, wow, we wanted to meet them. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Why would you show us that? Why would you even Are show that? The, they're so cute. That's wrong. But listen, we wouldn't recommend this match if we didn't believe that with some structure and love, these, these kids could blossom mm -hmm. right yeah and we're hoping to get them out of their current foster placement mm. the muskies might lose that meal ticket karen please most of our foster parents are really terrific caring people and yes there are people who do it just for the paycheck but the muskies are not abusive or evil just maybe a little inbred karen there is no evidence you've seen them i swear they look like brother and sister i can't tell them apart